Hello guys, here we are here to reveal this video is Ballistic Overkill Review. Now, I played maybe 5 hours of this game total, and from one of my experiences, I've played this game before, but it was in the browser version, which in my opinion, that was the way better version than this shit game. I do not recommend buying this game, and here's why. One, very repetitive, like, same maps. Two, um, okay. Before I actually make my claims, I do have an idea for developers. If you guys are watching this video, I like this idea is good, but you guys should have like a more weapons, obviously, like not just pure shotguns and not a shotgun that can't do a one shot fucking kill point blank. Like that's bullshit, like a shotgun. Any game besides this game basically is a one shot kill. This game so shit, it's shotgun. Like, the best shotgun probably came in a one shot. This game used to be very good. Um, the ping is shit. Like, no matter what server you go on, ping is always going to be shit in this game. They gotta get better servers. Um, I wish they added like a store system, not like a crate system like they always had. But like a system where you can actually buy shit like let's say this level 2 is like 500 coins like you're in coins instead of just levels like it makes this game simplistic because all you gotta do is hit level 17 or yeah 17 and then you hit max level like and then you get all the guns like seriously and I, I don't like I mean I love the idea that you had to play every single character but also I don't like it because as long as if you want to, as long as if you like just YOLO one character and you want to play someone else or try someone else's guns. So you can get into those characters. I don't know. And I don't know if you guys remembered, but you, you used to use this gun. That, that used to be the beginner's gun. The executioner in the browser version. I don't know if any of y'all remember or played the browser. And then that used to be the second gun you can get or the free gun that was there, the gremlin. Stalker, I, I had every gun in the game back in browser. I spent a lot of money into the game That's how I got two free copies me and RPG both have the game I'm never probably gonna play this shit game I just wanted to play because I the developer contacted me seeing seeing if I can do a video so I can put it on the community channel, but I told them uh, I was gonna give my honest review. I played but realistically this game is kind of shit because one the guns don't do damage for shit like this sniper sniper rifles are the way to go snipers and pistols like i figured i i, I was playing a match where there was like me and this other dude versus like a few other guys and all i had to do was use my pistol and i killed five guys like the, their entire team i killed using guns and everything i and i only took minimum damage like Sometimes you die instantly, which I don't understand because some other guns you can't do that shit. Like a level one one shot me with this bullshit gun. Like I, I can't even do that. Like what skills or hack do you got? Even though there's probably no hacks for this game, which if it's man or if it, if it's a game, it, it always has hacks. Be realistic. Don't don't be an idiot. Any game is hackable, but it depends on your cheat system if you want it to be remain unhackable. Grand Theft Auto, uh, hackable, or mods, uh, Call of Duty, always hackable, uh, every game's hackable, and this game is just one of the many, that's probably why they changed to Steam, so they can pr try to prevent it, and either they use, either the people using lag switch, like, you can use lag switches to hack or cheat, because I gotta do, uh, I did like a test in Planicide, and it works very efficient, I'm not saying to use lag switches, but, any game is hackable. I'd prefer the browser version over this sh game. Yes, the graphics are a bit better and everything, but realistically, I don't prefer this game. I don't recommend buying it unless you want to rage and shit. Unless you want to have no life the game and get crates and shit. I, I don't know. I, I don't recommend this game. Like, the leveling system is bullshit. Like, I played you know, a little matches and only level 2, I mean... Look how much people I killed in deaths. These deaths were bullshit. Well, some of them, like, maybe 20% of them were bullshit. The rest was my fault. Or just 
appear of them lagging so technically every single kill i got was either for me getting killed from behind or me getting killed from not even looking around my kill rate is 64 percent on shadow it's 72 which is very good um of course the wraith is my favorite character because he's a sniper rifle dude and i always love snipers but realistically if you guys want to have a fun time get call of duty infinite warfare I mean, don't get Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, get Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That game's better than any 2016 game, I can not guarantee that because most games of 2016 is bow to the motherfucking shit. Look, at Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I mean, Battlefield 1's not bad, Titanfall 2 is and people say it's the best game or better than Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1. I personally like Battlefield 1, but uh, I don't know. But if you guys want to waste $7 or how much this game costs, I don't know, I got this game free from way back when this game was first moving to browser. You had to spend like, what, $10 just to actually get this game free on PS4 or no, like only the same amount of money, but I spent over 100 or two. I don't know, I spent a crap ton of money on crates in this game, like back in browser, which is what, a year or two ago? Yes, uh, I, I still miss that part. Sure, it had a lot of hackers, but at least the game was decent and the kills were legit. Only if the kills were better, I would love this game more. But, and if they had, okay, I'm gonna give my recommendations. Like, if developers are you still, if you're still watching this, if you, if you get tired of the hate, here, here's my suggestions. Number one, uh, at least make the leveling fair so you don't have to spend like a hundred hours just to get to level 50 in each character like who wants to play this game that long unless you have a will into like i know you have to get to level 50 but uh, hear me out on this okay let's say this is the basic weapon yes what you should add is attachments like scope silencer uh grip so better accuracy even though there's barely any ping but you know basic attachments then you should add like rare what like rare weapons and attachments that do a bit more damage because these these i mean do it like the old times if you if you're a developer from the old times i'm pretty sure the guns mattered about the damage actually it, no i don't know it, i could be mixing with infinite warfare or advanced warfare but i'm pretty sure it did um this gun was definitely not the beginner the beginning gun was either the thumb no it was some gun i know the bus oh, i had every gun on here or any gun from the old time um i would recommend getting a lot more weapons like the old times i would recommend getting more skins i would recommend coin system like not pay to win or pay to get look good be one of those games where it's seven dollars and you don't have to spend a hundred hours or 10 hours just to get a goddamn crate that you get absolute shit in like i spent like an hour just to get this bullshit whirlwind skin like come on game you gotta do better and have like legendary weapons like they can't unlock unless you use buy coin which like like okay here's my idea you give coin system obviously and you can buy crates that's like 10,000 coins and every match you get like a hundred to 500 depending on how good you do like if you do the best you get like i say one at least 1.0 kill death ratio like let's say one kill and zero deaths then that doesn't count like you have to at least get 10 kills zero deaths to get like a thousand coins do like challenges like that so it can be better um fix your server ping get more skins um and uh you know hook, hook me up with some bullshit uh but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to sub this like button if you guys are looking to buy this game do not, not at least not yet wait till they if they hear my suggestions you know then you can buy the game <laughs> but um i know one of the developers I'll, I'll probably tell them to watch like five minutes because the first five minutes was obviously a ramp because this game's, oh, oops. this game's bullshit right now. <laughs> I don't like it. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap that like button below. If we get to five likes, that'd be really appreciated. Oh, yeah, so see you dudes later. Peace, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm kidding. G goodbye, motherfuckers.